Google DeepMind has once again made a significant breakthrough in robotics. They have introduced a self-improving robotic agent called Robocat. This innovation is revolutionary, but people have not fully understood its significance. They developed AlphaFold, a program that accurately predicts 3D models of protein structures, revolutionizing biology research. They also created AlphaGo, the first computer program to defeat a professional human Go player, and WaveNet, which improves the naturalness of speech in various products. RoboCat is another groundbreaking development by DeepMind, although it's important to note that they created the AI system that powers the robot, not the robot itself. RoboCat is powered by an artificial intelligence program and uses a high-precision robot called Sawyer, commonly used in factories. What makes RoboCat impressive is its ability to accomplish tasks in a remarkable way. One major challenge in robotics, similar to large language models, is the scarcity of training data. Robots need to be trained on a data set to understand how to perform tasks effectively. Typically, robots are trained on millions or hundreds of thousands of examples before they can master a specific task. However, DeepMind has developed RoboCat to generate new training data on its own, allowing it to improve its techniques and learn much faster than other models. With as few as 100 demonstrations, RoboCat can pick up a new task because it draws from a diverse dataset. This capability will accelerate robotics research and reduce the need for human supervision and training. It represents a significant advancement in the era of general-purpose robots and artificial general intelligence AGI. RoboCat is its ability to work with different hands, not limited to a specific one. RoboCat demonstrates such adaptability, which is both impressive and somewhat unsettling. DeepMind shared specific examples where robots were given an image and asked to recreate it. These robots perform the task very well, even for new tasks and with robots they hadn't encountered before. This is a significant breakthrough because it shows that the robots can effectively adapt to different situations. It's important for robots to be able to handle disturbances in the real world, not just in controlled environments. One interesting aspect I found during my research on RoboCat is that Google has its own multimodal model called Gato which can process different types of information like language, images, and actions. Gato is already showing promise in simulated and physical environments. This is exciting because it means that the robots can learn and improve using a variety of data sources. The reason why this is so incredible is that Google's DeepMind is currently working on a product called Gemini. Gemini is an artificial intelligence program that aims to compete with OpenEyes GPT-4 and GPT-5. The remarkable aspect of RoboCat's self-improvement lies in the combination of Gato's architecture with a large training dataset consisting of sequences of images and actions performed by various robot arms solving different tasks. The training process of RoboCat involves several steps. First, a human operator collects hundreds to thousands of demonstrations of a new task or robot using a robotic arm. What makes RoboCat's training data unique is that it combines five common forms of training data. Sensor data, state information, demonstration data, reinforcement signals, and simulation data. Additionally, two additional versions of training data are utilized. Videos and self-generated data. This diverse training data allows RoboCat to adapt to different inputs and learn to control new robotic arms it hasn't encountered before. RoboCat was able to control a new arm to pick up gears successfully 86% of the time after only a thousand human-controlled observations. It could also solve tasks that require precision and understanding, such as removing the correct fruit from a bowl and solving a shape-matching puzzle. These achievements highlight RoboCat's continuous self-improvement and its ability to learn new tasks more effectively with each iteration. Thanks for tuning into our YouTube channel and remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more awesome content.